right, we're here at my Vermihut indoor worm bin, and this is the follow-up to the fruit versus veggies, apple versus sweet potato experiment here. And what we did was we took a both kind of a apple that was rotting and sweet potato that was bad, and we put them in here. They had been frozen and then thawed and then frozen and thawed again. And already I can see the top of the sweet potato right here, so maybe I didn't cover them up enough. I'm actually gonna start on the sides here and figure out just kind of how everything's going otherwise. And this bin is really rapidly turning into castings. It wasn't too long ago that we had a 50-50 bedding to casting situation. And they're really going through it pretty quick. And in here we are finding all kinds of red wigglers right away. And this has both red wigglers and blue worms. But the sides are looking great. So far, I think this is a grape stem. A lot of people have told me, get those grape stems out of here. They're not going to go. And I tend to believe them. But of course, they left it in. Uh, more worms. Lots of worms. Lots of worms down here, actually. Let me kind of pull them out. You can see a little bit right there. That's just from the inner edge, or I guess outer edge, but deep inside. So let's kind of get to the... the part that we've been waiting for. And since the sweet potato is kind of sticking his head out a little bit, I'm gonna go for that first and I'm gonna just edge around it. And in the comments, a lot of people put their vote on which they thought would go first and every single person, so eight total, picked the apple first. I think the number of days, most people had picked 12, but the average was 10 and a half days for the apple and for the sweet potato, it was 14 days. And right here, I'm just kind of going gingerly because right here I see a lot of worms. And I want to kind of go underneath it and I'm going to pull it up. It feels pretty intact, but oh my gosh, underneath, I just need to dig out for you. There are tons of worms just underneath it. So maybe it's shedding moisture or something, but just an absolute worm ball underneath this sweet potato. And uh, it is mushy. There are parts, in fact, it looks flat. I don't know if you'll be able to get the depth of that, but it was round and it looks flat from where it was sitting. So perhaps these, and I'm gonna put them over here. I'll do that too with the apple if I find them underneath so they have to find their way again. But it is mushy. This is the part that the peel had been taken off and it was exposed and it seems a little fibrous right there but the mushiness of it is you know what is kind of surprising to me everywhere i go it's almost like a sponge as i'm kind of mushing it so that is the sweet potato i would say that i don't see any infiltrators into this but they are all around it so i'm going to put it right there and i'll keep digging in here a little bit just to see Lots of worms around it, so they definitely are itching to get in there when it finally kind of can get broken into. But let's let's go to the apple and let's see how the apple is doing. Everybody thought this is what was going to go first, and I kind of agreed with them. And I'm seeing the peel right away, and the peel is like plastic here, so there, there's definitely a hollowness or a mushiness to it underneath. And same thing, lots of worms on the sides. Oh yeah, lots of worms on the sides. You can just see, see them all over. So let's go underneath it too and see what we have here. Oh wow. Oh wow, yeah. Lots of worms underneath. See all that? Look at that. Look at all those worms underneath and Let's see if I can get to where it was open. I think it was right here where I kind of pushed my finger in. And there's a lot of mites there, but I, it's, it's as if they haven't broken through into it. Kind of like the sweet potato. So five days, and here's the stem. I don't see worms inside of it. There could be, and this is a wrinkly peel all over it, and certainly the worms are all around it and certainly underneath it here. Wow, look at that, look at those worms. Wow, all those worms from being right around the apple. So they really are itching to get in there, I can tell. Right now, 
right now it is a tie. This is surprising. It is a tie. They are both mushy. Apple's definitely mushier, but they are both mushy. None of them have clearly penetrated into the depths of the apple or sweet potato. So I think we can go back in the comments and ask, is anybody going to switch to sweet potato or apple? I mean, right now, I'm, I'll, let, I'll let you guys decide what you think. There's also a lot of mites. This right here where my fingers are, that is mites. In fact, I'll just kind of pause here and maybe I can do a um, time lapse on it. It's about as long as I can stand still, but um, lots of mites on there, and I don't see too many on the sweet potato. So maybe it's because it's more moist. Maybe it's because it's sweeter. I don't know. But but let's. Um, you know what? I'm gonna kind of open the apple up a little bit more, and let me see if I can. Just the sweet potato it is so fibrous. Um, there's no real way to kind of put a hole in there, but. Let me see if I can do something, some kind of breach. But but there we go. Wow. Wow. That was that was unexpected. I really did think that the apple was going to be more gone. So let me set up a feeding zone again. We will reset up the experiment here so it can continue. And right after this experiment is over, we are going to graduate this tray to a middle tray so that we can start a whole nother tray and a whole nother feeding tray. And then probably a month or two after that, this will be complete with castings and we'll take it out. But that'll be after this experiment is done. So again, everybody thought this would be done in 10 and a half days and we are going to recheck it in five more days. That'll be the 10 day point and see if it's completely gone. Because this has been five days since it started. And I'm gonna turn this more. I was looking in the previous video and this, I noticed that this was towards the top, so I'm gonna turn this a little bit, and I'll turn the apple a little bit too. And I'm gonna make sure that I cover it as well as I can, and then we'll make sure we really put as much as we can from the bedding that's in here on top of it so that they're completely buried. I'm also gonna come in here and add some moisture. The bin feels fine, but I think moisture will help speed the process for both of these. Surprising. Anybody else uh, feel like that is kind of unexpected, especially for the apple? The sweet potato is about where I thought it might be. And maybe some of the worms came over to here, so not all of them went to the apple like expected. So maybe that was part of it, but I don't know. They've really been taking care of food pretty quickly in this bin, so for them not to do that, maybe a lot of the moisture came down out of both of them and they were just sopping that up and just enjoying that. That could be it too, that they're just getting their nourishment from that and they didn't even need to get into it. I think we're gonna see breaching. I think the other microbes and mites, etc., will help the worms get into both the fruit and the veggie and we might have a, a much more different feel to this experiment next time. But I think the apple's gonna take longer than the 10 days that we originally had averaged out here. I'm gonna add the newspaper back to cover it up. Again, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Is this about where you expected it to be? Is this surprising? I know D from D Worms, she had put a sweet potato in and I think it was after about 10 days and it really hadn't shown too much progress and she had also frozen it. I saw that video just a couple days ago and I thought to myself, okay, well, that's gonna change what I think about the sweet potato. True to form five days later, not a whole lot of breach, just some of that moisture soaking out of it. That was a, a good indicator for a sweet potato on how long it may take for her video there. So I think that'll about do it. So I hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.